Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, live streaming and multicamming and kind of the, the really simple tool that I use called the Mevo. So I talk about it a lot. If you've watched any of my videos, a lot of times I'm saying I'm using the Mevo. So I get a lot of questions about it, so I thought I'd do like an overview. I mean, Mevo themselves have tons of videos about how to use it or whatever, but I kind of want to give you my impression of it and what kind of how I came to be to, to get this thing. So just if you don't know what it is, this is the Mevo, right? It's a little tiny camera. And essentially, it's a wide angle lens with a 4K sensor, okay? Simple enough, right? But what makes the Mevo interesting is the way you control it through the app. The whole concept here is that it's got this 4K sensor and through, we're using the app uh, that's on your phone, you're able to kind of pinpoint parts of it. So I've done, I remember when 4K became, was becoming the thing, like why do you need 4K and people were talking about it. You know, we would often do classes where we talk about, well you know, if you only have one camera and you needed to in a pinch, you could set it up, shoot 4K and then in post go in and do your, you know, if you do it, let's say two people talking, move in, move in, move around. That's what the Mevo does, it, but it does it live. If you have somebody with your phone with the app on it, you got the thing on a tripod, you can be uh, live streaming and basically doing cuts live or you can pre-record it and basically save yourself um, you know, all that post work because you can just do it right then. It's a live camera, that's the point of it. Um, you can just shoot straight 4K as well and I sometimes just do that. Um, but what's cool about it too though is it also has an automatic mode where you throw the thing on a tripod and through the magic of technology, it basically knows. Like if I'm standing here talking and it'll punch it on my face because it knows there's a face there and then when I go this with my arms, it does a wide shot. It's not perfect, but man, it's pretty good. And I'll tell you, um, I, if you watch anything, I, I love technology. So um, I love to mess with things. I love to see what's going on. And it's such a useful thing. I mean, I can say that I've used it a bunch of times shooting uh, with two people talking, which I think it's really useful for, and also myself, by myself talking. Every once in a while though, uh, it'll get weird and you'll be talking at it and you, of course you can't see it, right? And you'll do this and then all of a sudden it'll be over there somewhere doing some random thing. So it's not perfect, but um, typically I monitor it and you've now been looking out for this, you'll often see uh, when I'm like out on my porch or something, you'll see there's a, my phone's next to me. That's got the connector for the Mevo. I periodically look down and make sure I'm not like doing some kind of crazy thing with it. So. I think it's really good for that, right? That's kind of the overview of it. But here, let's just, let me show how small it is. What makes this cool for me is this. Like right now, I'm using what's called Sling Studio, which I'll also go into. I'm gonna do a little, like I'll do a video on each of these and then we'll talk about them. Um, Sling Studio has a lot of advantages, but the problem is Sling Studio is a big, bigger box. You hook cameras to it. This is the reason why it's better, right? Better quality, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But this I keep in my bag. I literally keep it with me everywhere I go. I can spontaneously set up, do an interview with somebody on the spot. Now, you might be thinking, well, you can do it with your phone. That's true, right? So I kind of want to talk a little bit about that too, but I'm gonna get into that. First, let me kind of go over the process. So this is the Mevo itself. Um, it's, you can remove the bottom plate here uh, and put it on what's called the Mevo Boost, which if you're gonna actually get hardcore into Mevo, I recommend you get. Um, the Boost gives you, uh, I think, 10 hours, it gives you a lot more uh, life, but also if you want to just shoot flat 4K, you have to either be plugged into the wall or have the boost on there. You can't just take the little baby Mevo and sit it on a park bench and shoot 4K. So that's the main thing I use the boost for. It also has an ethernet port in the back, so you can, if you're doing like live streaming someplace you can plug in, it'll give you faster connections and stuff. Um, so that's useful. Um, in the back here, it uses a little micro SD. You gotta make sure you get the fast enough card. I'll put all this stuff in the description uh, to shoot 4K as well. That's a mistake I made. I bought the boost and I still couldn't do 4K. Um, so you wanna get the fast card. You wanna get the boost if you plan on just doing 4K recording. If you don't care about that, like I mean, if, you don't, if you're just gonna punch in and do cuts, cuts or whatever and uh, output 1080, you don't need the faster card. You don't need the boost. Um, it does come with a uh, you know, USB a charger. Uh, the USB in the back is not a way to get the files off the Mevo, which kind of sucks, I gotta say. Um, because if I shoot a five minute video, even at 1080, and I gotta transfer it to my phone using the, the, the app over Wi-Fi, it's kind of slow. So what I tend to do is carry a card reader and I just dump it that way because it's much, much faster. So think about that ahead of time. In a pinch, it's freaking amazing. Like if I have my phone plus the Mevo, I can do it, but for practical purposes, I almost always use the card reader. I can't, uh, 
you know, you, you can't even really play them back properly through the app until you download them, which means you gotta wait five minutes to download a, you know, 10 minute video. So that part kind of sucks. Um, but again, if you're using it for live streaming, uh, that's key. And you can live stream and save at the same time. So it's not the perfect tool. And in fact, I got it and I, I used it a couple times. I didn't use it for a long time. Um, and then now I started using it again. So um, what I originally got it for was to do some live shooting stuff. And what I found was it's cool because you can punch in and stuff. But if it's on a tripod here, number one, I can't show you guys my, my computer, which I can do with the sling. Um, but also it's in one spot, right? So for instance, if I'm doing uh, two people talking and, and demonstrating something, it can cut to one person, cut to the other person, cut to their hands, whatever. But I can't ever cut from over there coming this way if I needed to do that. That's what like the Sling Studio is good for. So it's good, but it's limited. It's not that expensive. So it's probably worthwhile for somebody who wants to do uh, interview type stuff, uh, low key, or that wants to um, you know, do stuff like I do, like talk and, and that kind of stuff where you're gonna be hosting and be on something because you can have it everywhere, right? So. Um, Mevo is good for that. So let's rewind back and I'll do a quick little kind of comparison. As I do more videos, these will kind of, I guess, make more sense. But um, Mevo versus your phone. Well, I mean, you, you kind of need your phone anyways um, with the Mevo. You can just press the button and record with it. But if you can't see through it, that's, I wouldn't do that. Um, the phone is going to be great. If you get the right app sort that you can control it, if all you do is kind of what I'm doing here, talking to the camera, right? If that's all you're ever gonna do, just use your phone, get a, you know, spend the 20 bucks or 15 bucks, whatever it might cost for like a really good control app for it, flip it around, plug a, plug a lab into it, you're good to go, right? I wouldn't bother with something like this for that. That seems like a waste. I would just use my phone for that. Um, but if you wanna live stream and cut to different people and do that kind of stuff, the Mevo is a much more powerful tool, right? And also, y you can be further away with the Mevo. I should kind of point that out too. Like, I could basically put the Mevo kind of far away and then have my phone with me because I'm controlling it and cut to myself, you know, using it from far away and do a wide shot and a close shot. So there's definitely more fluidity to the, to the Mevo. That being said, you can't do, like I said, you can't put a camera over here. Like, I was recording my friend and we were doing some cooking videos and I realized that I brought the Mevo the first time. I'm like, oh, it's perfect. You can sit here and talk and do your thing. And that was fine. But then when he turned around and went over to the stove to work, I didn't have a shot over there, right? So I had to take a separate camera and put it over there and then cut it in after. And then that requires more work, right? I wasn't truly multi-camming it. So um, next time I went, I brought my Sling Studio. So I'm going to do a video about the Sling Studio. It's a little bit more complex. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, but the Sling Studio allows you to put a variety of cameras into it do the same thing using your phone or whatever to, in fact, I'm using it right now, um, to cut and switch and do things. And also you can even use phones, which is great because I use my spare phone as like an extra camera for that. So Sling Studio is good for that. So I would say more high-end production, lots of uh, cutting and weird angles, Sling Studio for sure. Just vlogging and talking to your, to, to your audience uh, really simply, iPhone with, uh, with a lav is gonna be great. And if you want that kind of hybrid, kind of some cutting, but somewhat limited, Mevo is going to be the tool for you. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, are, do you guys live stream? And if so, what do you use? Are you interested in this kind of stuff? Do you want to know more about it? Because you can do a lot more with the Mevo that I don't do and I can talk about it. Uh, just kind of looking at the specs. Uh, I'm only talking about what I do right now. Um, but let me know and uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you next time.